So someone asked me the other day, what is Williams Rule evidence? Well, before I describe Williams Rule, let's talk about uh, evidence. And one of the great things about our, our Constitution is, um, and the Florida Constitution as well, is you can't be accused of a crime based on things that you have done necessarily in the past. For instance, if you're uh, being accused of, of grand theft, they cannot use the fact that you got a DUI four years ago to say, hey, this is a bad guy. He, he's been arrested before. Uh, they can't use the fact that, you know, you've had multiple other charges to say that you are the specific person who did this particular crime. Now, there is a caveat. There's something called Williams Rule evidence. And what Williams Rule said is that if, if the state is trying to prove a series of events or a crime and it was based on, uh, done in a similar scenario uh, by this defendant in other cases, it could be used against, against you. So, um, for instance, I think the, the best example is uh, one of my favorite holiday movies, Home Alone. If you remember, Harry and Marv are the burglars uh, that torment little Kevin. And um, Marv is is ins insistent on having a burglar nickname, the Wet Bandits. Why? Because in every house, he turned on the water as after they burglarized it and left. Now that's stupid because it creates Williams Rule evidence. So the example is, is if Harry and Marv are busted for robbing Kevin McAllister's home, and Kevin McAllister's home had water in the basement because he's the, they're the wet bandits. They can look at every other house in the neighborhood that was burglarized and had the water turned on and say, aha, we can prove it was them because they did these other crimes in the same and similar fashion. So there's got to be some sort of unique characteristics. In our example is um, turning on the water in all the homes as they burglarized them. So that's just a fun way to look at Williams rule. But the most important thing is, is that um, your prior crimes cannot be used against you unless they're so similar that it, it tends to show that you did this particular crime. So if you have any more questions about evidence or how it's used in, in criminal justice systems, in situations, you can download my book, My Loved One's Been Arrested, What's Next. In there, there's an overview of the criminal justice process, and we like to des describe what certain scenarios are similar to this. And if you have any other questions, give us a call at the office.